In order to access the remote console web interface, I'm going to fire up Inner Explorer. And right here it says, um, Inner Explorer Enhanced Security Configuration is not enabled. And that's OK. Down here where it says Internet Protected Mode Off, I'm going to double click. And I just want to make sure that Enable Protected Mode is unchecked. And I'm going to click OK. OK again. And in the address bar, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the IP address of my KVM controller, which is 10.1.20.249, and I'm going to hit Enter. And it says there is a problem with this website security certificate. That's OK. It's a self-signed certificate. I'll click Continue. And that's the web interface of the Dell DRAC um, KVM controller. There's another way to access the same controller. I can just type in ESX60 KVM and then hit enter and then continue to this website all right I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my username which is ESX 60 admin and then my password I'm just gonna click OK there you go we logged in to the summary tab of the KVM controller and it says system information you can see it you know you're presented what basically a detailed information of your physical host that says it's PowerEdge 1950. What I want to show you is the power management feature. If you click on the power management tab, you're going to see what's the power status of the server. Right now the server is running, it's on. Um, we have the option to power off the system. We can also reset the system if we wanted to by clicking here on that radio button and then power cycle the system. You gotta click on the radio button and then you gotta click on apply. And it says you're about to execute server control action. Are you sure? No, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna click cancel. Uh, the other thing that I wanna show you is the console. If I click on the console tab, this is where we can actually see the server console. And if I go ahead and click connect, it's gonna open up the console and you it's going to be basically like you're sitting in front of the server I'm going to hit enter just to uh, refresh the screen and up here where it says tools just going to move my mouse right here and then the menu shows up tools power control you basically have the same options you can power off reset and power cycle the system I'm going to cancel that and close I'm going to hit disconnect all right I'm going to go to the media tab and I'm going to show you how you can use the virtual media tab to install ESX server. I'm going to go down here to the very bottom where it says CD, DVD, ROM drive. And I'm going to select ISO image file. And I'm going to click browse. And right here on the left side where it says downloads, I'm going to click on that downloads drive. And I'm going to open up the VMware folder. And I'm looking for the ESX I server ISO image which is this one, this one at the bottom, VMware installer 5.1 ISO open. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to click connect to connect that ISO image. And there you go. It says current status connected. So the ISO image is connected to the server and under DVD ROM drive, it shows the path to the ISO image. All right, that's good. So the ISO image is mounted to the physical host. The next step is to go to the console and click connect to open up the KVM console. And we're going to basically restart the server. So I'm going to go up here to the very top of the screen. I'm going to go tools, power control, and then I'm going to go hit power psycho system. Are you sure? Yes, please. I'm going to click close that screen. We don't need that screen anymore. And we're going to see in a second it's going to power down. There you go. It's powered down right now. It says no signal. All right, the server came back. And it, right here it says uh, F2 setup, F10 utility mode, F11 boot menu, F12 pixie boot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit F11 and we're going to go into the boot menu of the server. All right, it's initializing right now. It's got to go through its normal post procedure. 
All right, and in a second we're going to see the boot menu. Um, there it is, boot device menu. The first option is normal. We're not going to use that. Uh, the second option, hard drive C, is as if we wanted to boot off of the local hard drive. And the next option is embedded NIC1. Uh, that's what we want to use in most of the cases. If we select this option and we hit enter, the server will go out, will search for a Pixie server, and will boot off of that Pixie server. Um, basically, that's the best option to go for, and it's the fastest way to install your SXI server. The next option, ID CD-ROM drive, is the local uh, physical CD-ROM device. We don't have control over that, so we're not going to be using it. The next option, virtual floppy. We don't need that. Uh, we're not going to be using it. And the next one, Virtual CD-ROM, that's the one that we want to use if we're going to be installing our ESX server using the ISO image that we just mounted. Uh, we just got to select that one, hit enter, and we're going to start the installation process. Uh, and the last one, Embedded NIC 2, is basically the same as Embedded NIC 1. The server will go out, we'll search for a Pixie server, and we'll, we'll basically boot off of that Pixie server. Um, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select Embedded NIC 1, and I'm going to hit enter. And you're going to see in a second um, the built-in network card, Broadcom, will go out and will try obtaining a DHCP IP address, and it did. It connected to the Pixie server. And as you can see, it says loading ESXi installer. And that is a good sign. Basically, the server was able to go out, connect to the Pixie server, pull the ESXi image, and load it into the memory of my physical host. And as you can see, it says loading. Uh, 192.168.4.2, that's the IP address of the Pixel server. And then the name of the files that are being copied over from the Pixel server over to your physical host. And at this point, I'm going to stop the video. Uh, there is a separate video that shows you the process of installing ESXi 5.1 on your physical host. Uh, this part, this video, this particular video has been created only to show you how KVM works and how you can manage your server using the KVM controller.